Hey peeps, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta and today just a little short video. Um, I am currently working on Partners in Crime from Diamond Art Club. Uh, this is for the Pride June event and I am just about to work on this large section here of red ABs and for ages now I have been thinking that I should test out for you some different ways of placing ABs. So I thought let's do that today. I've got a nice little area to work on so I'm just going to give it a go with different placing options. Uh, so I've got my lovely red sparkly ABs here ready to go and I've got a few placing options. So to start with we have our basic Diamond Art Club pink wax. Let me just get a, a fresh one out so that you can you can see quite the collection of pink wax here but this is a Diamond Art Club pink heart wax. Um, I have also got a pretty placer. This is a diamond painting crayon essentially and this is in Midnight Sleigh Ride which is the scent because these are scented wax pens. I have also got um, this little wax picker upper um, which is just literally kind of a stick of hard wax you sharpen the end like a pencil and you can use that for picking up gems and then I've got this fancy piece of kit which inside here is kind of a, a bullet if you like of wax you you feed into here um, not sure. yeah so down in there which you cannot see from here because it's white um, in there there is sort of a nugget of wax and then this plunger if you like goes down on top and by changing the there we, go, I can, we can squeeze out a little tiny bit of wax on the end and it always puts out more than you need so you just have to sort of scrape it away until you've got almost none there at all and then that's enough uh, in addition what else do I have for placing we can be trying i've got some scented putty and i've got some fancy waxes yeah so i've got my palmer violet wax here which is from uh let's get that into focus so that's nanamoo's dp wax in palmer violet scent we will try a bit of that and we will try a putty so this is uh sea breeze this one that I've got here which is just a um almost like a kind of a blue tack sort of texture so we'll give all of those a go I do have one other wax crayon placer here um this is a 100% beeswax crayon um placer that again you just sharpen it and go um it's not very sharp at the moment but we can rectify that so those are the things i'm going to be trying today and we'll see how it goes i've got quite a lot to place so i'm just going to move you in closer and we'll have a go if you have um got a particular favorite technique for placing ab's particularly where you've got a lot um, do let me know. I am always in search of a good option for multi-placing with ABs because I've not really found anything that works particularly well. Um, I will say in terms of pink wax, what I'm opting for is the, the what I call dirty wax. So it's um, wax that I've already been using for placing other drills. It's not freshly placed because that tends to not work very well. So we'll just, we'll go in and we'll just place a few you here. I'm going to go just individually. And my arm is resting on a bit of crinkly plastic. Let me move that out of the way. So we are on a wander today with this camera. I do apologise if I'm constantly out of shot. Stay still. So, yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, pink wax is fine. It, oops, she says, not managing to pick up. Okay. Get out. Um, 
yeah the pink wax works fine for a lot of people you will never need anything else you'll be quite happy with that um i love to multi-place and so i've tried lots of other things so in here i've got just pink wax and with a gentle rocking motion you can pick up a line of ab's and pop them down relatively ooh, <laughs> relatively straightly she says not being straight at all um right let's just straighten this up oh goodness that was not a good example i'll try that again let's just move that back into frame I swear, it seems like a weird thing to suggest, but I'm sure that my camera is wobbly because it's warm. It's like it doesn't, it won't lock into place properly. I'm just gonna go down here. So there we go. That's a, a line there all done. So that's the pink wax. Um, pretty placer. I will freshly sharpen so that it's nice and it's got a, um, one of these sharpeners that's got the different sizes is always useful when you're working with a crayon. And um, what I won't do today, because I'm not sure this has been cleaned out, but um, if you're using a clean pencil sharpener or one that doesn't have a little built-in bin, then keep the little bits of wax that come off from your placer when you sharpen it, and you can still use them in your regular diamond painting pen. Um, so obviously, there's no multi-placing option with this, which is single placing. Um, you need a very light touch. Um, and of course the problem is then you've got no way of straightening these once they're placed with the tip of the wax. You will need to go back in with a, um, with a regular diamond painting tip and just straighten things up but what I'm doing here is I'm just placing in a checkerboard formation which gives me a little bit more room to get these ones straight and then I can go back in and place the other ones afterwards and still my natural inclination is to try and straighten them with this and I can't um, obviously this has the benefit of smelling beautiful uh, unfortunately, for those of us in the UK, these are very expensive to get hold of because although the Koreans themselves are reasonably priced, the shipping um, of pretty places um, is extortionate. But that's that's a postage issue, not a not a them issue. Um, I have two of these. Um, I have this one, and what scent is the other one? Mm -hmm. Home at last, which was another sort of Christmassy scent. Um, I I like these; they um, they're very pleasant to use, and these are particularly nice um, if you're doing special um, special diamond paintings where you've got lots of large diamonds to place, because they give you obviously the option of placing different sized diamonds. Um, while we're on the subject of wax crayons, I should just going with the beeswax this is slightly fatter so it's harder to get into a nice point obviously you could use a craft knife and cut it down if you wanted to um, this presents us with the same issue though of it being quite a chunky pen and it has obviously a very soft soft end so gentle placement if you're a a heavy-handed place so that's probably not going to be for you but nonetheless I do enjoy using the beeswax it um, feels very nice and you do get a lovely little click very satisfying so um, Right, sticking with wax places. This is the, the skinniest of all of them. Um, these I first saw being used um, not within diamond painting community, but within the craft community. A lot of people were using these for placing um, gems on artwork or 
within um, within pictures. Again, we've got very soft ends, so you can't do a lot of repositioning. And it's a very light touch that's needed. I think a lot of these things come down to personal preference. You will find the thing that works for you. I'm a sucker for a, a new gimmick. I will give everything a go. Um, so, and then we've got our our um, wax loaded placer. Um, what you will see here is that even though I haven't touched it since I reloaded it, it has continued to kind of exude its wax, which can be a little bit wasteful because I don't need that, and that's. Yeah, it, it just, if you, if you over twist it, you really do need to be quite gentle with it. So, again, I'm just gonna go in and you can be a little firmer handed with this because you've got this metal tip and the wax is inside. Um, am I picking up? Oh, those two are stuck together. I was like, wondering how I managed to pick up two then. Uh, it is quite a wide tip, so getting into small areas is not the easiest. But it is nice to be able to um, place a little, yeah, a little more firmly. It's also, it's currently in the UK, it's ridiculously hot. Um, despite it being night time while I'm recording this. It is absolutely boiling and um, I'm sure that's not helping with the um, the wax places being so soft. So, um, and uh, the reason that this looks so smooth is because I, I just hit it with a heat gun a little while ago um, to tidy it up a little bit. But with a, this is a hard wax here. So you can see I'm just sort of scraping it to load it into the tip of my pen. This is a cat-eared um, forever tip. And oh my goodness, the Palmer Violet smell is amazing. But smell isn't everything, we need it to work. So we can clearly, we can pick up quite nicely. And I mean, I paid, I think I paid something like about £3.50 for this pot, but obviously it's going to last forever. <laughs> um, and there were lots of lovely different smells and that's always it. It just, just makes your experience a little bit better. What I will say is that um, this particular wax does leave um, a bit of residue on top of the drill. You can go in at the end and buff that out, um, but for some people that would be a definite no. Um, I don't notice it so much on the regular drills, but if I'm using this wax for placing ABs, um, it does sometimes leave a little waxy coating. So that is the, the solid wax, and then I will grab another pen. And we'll go in with our sea breeze, which again, I wish I had some sort of smell of vision. It smells amazing. And um, if I can just, I'll just poke about in here with, you can see it's very much the sort of consistency of a, a blue tack or I tend to break a bit off, um, particularly in this warm weather. I'll break a little bit off and kind of poke it down into the tip of the pen and then work it in and it will continue to smush out the side and then you just keep pushing it back in as it pops out. Uh, so here we go, very easy to pick up and place and you are not getting obviously any waxy residue 
what you may find occasionally if you're a particularly hard placer is that you get more kind of smushing out the sides you just pop it back in and again this is another this is a cat eared forever tip in this pen in fact i think this whole pen came from cat eared so the this works well for me uh, particularly in the heat and once the um putty has lost a bit of its stick it then tends to calm down a little bit and stays inside <laughs> a bit more rather than squeezing out um, I am obviously working quite quickly here uh, so the the final thing really um, is good old tweezers um, most square diamond paintings will come with a set of tweezers. Um, this is the first pair I happen to have picked up, which happened to be Dreamer Designs ones. Um, but obviously Diamond Art Club have their own tweezers. Many companies do. Um, these are particularly nice ones though. I like the nice pointy ones, but do go careful. I have stabbed myself on a number of occasions. Um, so don't feel that you have to pick up more than one. Um, picking up two is not too tricky though um, but I like to because I'm left-handed I'll come in this way and I will align my tray so that I can move the diamonds around and I'm not working sort of against the channels I'm not sure I'm explaining that very well but if I was to have them this way and try and pinch a diamond there's every chance that I would get caught on these channels but by having it this way and coming in this way picking up the diamond and placing it and again if you're working with tweezers you can choose to do the checkerboard so by that I mean placing every other diamond and then go, going back in and filling the gaps or you can um, do every single one particularly on a good quality canvas there is normally some wiggle room once you've placed that diamond for just snuggling it up wherever you want it to be next to the, the diamonds that have already been placed. I am quite a fan of using tweezers for ABs because it saves on all that bother of worrying about glue and stickiness. But um, it is very much a personal preference. I hope that I have just given you some food for thought. Um, as I say, let me know what is your favorite technique for placing ABs on a canvas? Which wax placers have you tried? Which you, had you never heard of? I would love to know, so let me do know down below. Um, I am gonna get back to working on this gorgeous canvas. I am so, so enjoying it um absolutely stunning and um yeah i shall be sad when it's finished but glad when it's on the wall <laughs> so okay my lovely i am going to leave this here i am going to wish you all a wonderful wonderful pride month what's left of it um please do consider to leave a like share subscribe become a member of the crafty coven and until next time stay crafty Huge thanks and much, much crafty love to my generous patrons in the inner circle, Katerina Saplova. And thanks, as always, to everybody in my crafty coven.